Today I'd like to cover Gravely flywheels. Gravely powered tractor T-head flywheels. This set of flywheels is out of alignment. This is known as a truing stand dial indicator. We'll see how far out they are. The problem is when this shaft, the drive pinion shaft, doesn't coincide center line to center line with the timing pinion shaft. The two flywheels are held together with something known as a spreader bolt, crank pin, of course we got the connecting rod, and let's see what happens here. You can see the dial indicator. Well that's quite far out. There's another thing you can do to check these and that's using a straight edge across the surface. Now I'm hoping you can see the white light under this side. This gap, if I could hold it steady, this gap is probably about 41 thousandths. The wheels, the flywheels, are more out of alignment than the timing pinion shaft itself. So let's see what holds them together. How do we fix the problem? That's the spreader bolt right there. If you can imagine, the two wheels must coincide. Since that is where they're mounted together, they can't vary up and down. They can only vary side to side. So, holding the flywheel assembly down, you may have to loosen the spreader bolt. Holding the spreader bolt and crank pin down, you figure out which flywheel sticks out more on one side than the other. You're looking for the side that sticks out more. Wham! With a good hammer, hopefully you'll bring it back in. Okay, that's one set of alignments. Well, guess what? There's another. If the two flywheels are not parallel with each other, they could be leaning in or leaning out depending on what side's up and what side's down. So what you would do then is take a dial indic I'm um, sorry, a veneer set of calipers, check it, check it, check it in about four places around the circumference. What can you do to correct the problem? Again, again, I would suggest what's what's happening then is that both flywheels are not seated exactly the same on the crank pin. A little bit of persuasion with a soft hammer until they come back into both parallel and in alignment this way. Then you can finally check it with a dial indicator. Again, you can put the dial indicator on the drive pinion bushing, check it there, and then come over to the bearing surface and check it there. The total run out by Zex is five thousandths. For the old Harley Davidson people, Harley got its two pinion shafts to within one one thousandths. So we've got a little work to do with this one. That is the main thing to check for flywheel alignment. I've heard stories where drive pinion can be bent. I I haven't seen it myself. This drive pinion, maybe you can see, 
has a center hole here. There is also a centering hole on the inside down in there. I could take just the drive pinion shaft, put it in the truing stand, and check the drive pinion shaft, uh, sorry, timing pinion shaft for straightness. This is machined, it's hardened, and then it's ground while it's on centers. So it's checkable, but I think that once we get the two flywheels back into alignment and parallel to each other, I'll be good to go here. Thank you.